is being added to lot one. And there's a 25 foot swath of what used to be Circle Avenue North right of way, which to Dennis's point, Union Township has vacated its mm -hmm. public interest. Uh, that area is also being added to this new lot one. So they're taking four lots to two lots, and to do so, they need to incorporate areas that were vacated as part but, of But how can I, how can I, okay, so if you vacate, <coughs> what we said basically, we have no public, there's no public interest in that portion. Exactly. But there's still that private interest. Potentially. Right. And basically, I how do I sign off on something when the <coughs> task is not there? We can't. So what am I doing here today? Well, I think what we can consider doing is approving it contingent upon Mr. Aramick completing the quiet title action with stating here in the public meeting that we're not signing his plot plan until he provides the township with proof that he's satisfied. But it's good. Or we need to push this down the road and wait until he resolves that. And, and, I, and, I, and I thought that's what we talked about the last time we started this year. Here's the problem I have. And again, <coughs> if we, it's going to take, even if we approve it, contingent upon the quiet title. That quiet title action is not going to happen in one day. It's not going to happen in one week, one month. It'll take three or four months, at least my way is important, to get this done. What is your, your who's your attorney, by the way? Seth Russo. And he's saying that we we have to sign on this, sign off on this, and you report the courthouse. Is that what he's telling you? Yeah, I need something to go to the courthouse with. Though all I have is you know, what he's what he's saying is that I go to the courthouse with the ordinance and not an approved subdivision. They're going to say, well, that means nothing to us. Well, go ahead, CJ. They're saying, well, I think if I'm understanding Mr. Aramick's question correctly, he wants to know. Does he have to have an approved and recorded subdivision to be able to do the quiet title? And I believe I that answer is no. Because he that's can't have a recorded backwards. He can't, he can't have a recorded subdivision because actually, if we approve this tonight, the sign is He wants contingency. He recorded this, but what good's the contingency? They mean nothing. They mean squat. <coughs> I mean, I have a deed to my property. I know, but the, that that portion of that street can be vacated. Still, people still in that plan of lots have, anyone who owns a lot of that plan of lots has an interest in that paper street. Right. I, I, there, there's a note on this drawing right at the, at the um, top of the radius there. It says, area of Circle Avenue North vacated by ordinance number 2024-9, dated 5-8-2024. That, to, to include that area in the subdivision plan, we need to have, the quiet title needs to be fine. It has to be. Or else this can't be reported. And the township can't sign off on it and post it. That's my dilemma. Okay. Here's what to do. Have your attorney give me a call, and we'll talk about it. We're going to grant it. I mean, if you give well, I, Yeah, I understand that. I just, uh, you know, what he's telling me. Tell him to give me a call. If I go through this process, then I got to do it again. But it would be, it would be a misnomer for us to prove this today when the quiet title hasn't been completed. I don't, under, I don't understand what he means by he would have to do it again. Other than making the trip out to Washington County to get things recorded, I guess. Yeah. But it's, but I think the best thing for him to do would be, at this stage, he has, he has, we have, I have yet to see the sign. Has the ordinance been signed yet? Yes, it's been I, signed and sent to, to, to Mr. Aaron. But we have to file something with the current reports of the road doctor also. Um, have your attorney, give, I'll give you, I'll give you my card, have your attorney give me a call. Either sometime Thursday or Friday. Okay? I apologize, I want to be right. I, I think the, my fear, if we grant you a subdivision and the quiet title, something happens and you can't get that quiet title, now what? Because yeah. here's, the, here's the thing, and you're absolutely correct. So I had Dollar Fed, I represented uh, Dollar General in another county. I keep telling the story. 
So Dollar Joe's gonna put a, uh, put a uh, new store in another county. So I represent Dollar Joe's for the transaction. So I went to do quiet title action, because I had the township agreed to make what we do here. First thing I knew, it's a quiet title, I get people objecting to it. That stuck the whole, that basically shot the whole project down. That whole, this, this lady who sold the property to the Dollar Bank was all upset, crying, but I said, I don't know what I can do. You're right, it's a good point. I'm and saying there's no, there's no, you know, I, I mean, walking around, but there's no list. You do this, you do this, you do this. I know. And but the attorney should be telling you that. And, it's and he's telling me to come here and get approved. <laughs> because you, because you he's raised, got, because he not have a quiet title. But she raised a good point. If someone in that plan of lots raises an issue about they object to it, it, so it, it blows the whole thing out. I think, I think the important point here is that Wayne doesn't have to have an approved subdivision to be able to do his quiet title. No, no. That, I think that's where think, the difference of opinion is. I, I think that's the piece of it. You, to have the subdivision, you've got to get the quiet title to satisfy everything. Right, I mean, he wants, he wants to add this okay, area. Okay, so, so what you're saying is I take take the ordinance and I go to my attorney, he files by a title. The ordinance is saying, the ordinance says title, basically, title this property. The ordinance is basically, the township has no interest in this paper street. Okay. Your attorney, all he has to do, he or she has to do, is take that ordinance and then file by a title. Here's the paper. If he wants, I have, I have, Dick to like you know information I'll send over to him about what he, you know about the procedure. Okay. If he, he or she has a problem, just call call me up. I'll give you my card. Send tell them to send me an email. I I'll send them some information because I do this quite a bit. Okay. okay. Even if it gets approved, you can't sign until that happens. No, you can't. So why am I doing contingency? You know the dilemma we had with with the previous board yeah. in Middle Beach. I got I have I have a million <laughs> conditions. About what's going on, on contingencies, and after all, even you—you you spent how much time trying to figure out what was going? On? It took you days. It's still not resolved. That's still so just like, yeah. Okay. Why? Yeah, I, I'm just asking. Yeah. No, why yeah, is, I, why I, isn't there? Why isn't there a sheet that says this is what you did? I think that's your not, attorney should be doing. Yeah, well, that that's, that's your attorney job. I'm saying you come to you come to a planning commission meeting, you come to a township, and you ask for vacating. There should be something that says A, B, C, D, just like your agenda. But no one, no one, agenda. no, I, I, represent, I represent over 35 places. We don't do that anywhere. Your attorney should be able to.